I remember when Martin Scorsese's movie The Last Temptation of Christ came out, it generated some controversy and some uh, protests from um, fundamentalist Christians um, who simultaneously to expressing their protests admitted never having watched the movie, never actually having seen it. Um, to me, that affects their credibility. Um, if you haven't seen the movie, how can you possibly protest it for its alleged contents? Um, Scorsese was saying that he was offering a subtle message, um, even somewhat Christian message, saying that um, Christ overcame this last temptation. It was written apparently by a, a Greek monk, I believe, or priest, uh, who was dealing with enormous doubts of his own, and um, came to the conclusion that Jesus was subject to temptation like everyone else, but he overcame them, however hard that temptation was. Um, now, as I say, I think that um, that does affect the credibility of people leading protests against the film if they haven't seen it, uh, because, well, how can you possibly protest something that you haven't seen? How can you possibly criticize it in any way at all? You're going by hearsay. You're allowing somebody else to tell you what's in the movie. This reminds me of um, people who say that um, I'm an atheist, or I mean this hypothetical people. I don't mean people who are saying that I am an atheist, but people who say uh, that they are atheists, um, but they won't define what they mean by God. I ask people who say that they're atheists, what is this God that you disavow? And they say, it's not up to me to decide the, what, what God is. It's the burden of proof is upon uh, theists. Whatever the theist says is what I don't believe in. Okay, but if you want to hand people control of your beliefs in that way, and essentially that's what you're doing when you, when you do that, you're handing people um, at least the uh, power to define what it is to you, uh, what it is that you hold to be true. Um, that's fine, but it can't help but muddy the waters in terms of my ability to understand what you mean by atheism. I don't believe in something that is undefined or that I refuse to define and that I believe is, uh, believe is non-existent. In that sense, everybody who has ever lived has been an atheist because I don't think anyone believes anything that they believe is non-existent and undefined, even a theist. So, I don't think that it really is enough to say um, I'm an atheist, but I, I'm an atheist, but I refuse to define God, uh, because you're just you're you're making an essentially vacuous statement when you do that. You're 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 not really saying anything. You're not really expressing any position. Either that, or you're handing someone who, with whom you have allegedly a fundamental disagreement a blank check. A blank slate on which to write down whatever it is you believe. Um, now, I'm not letting theists off the hook here either, because they won't actually define what they mean by God either. Um, now, the only place where it actually where where you actually run into problems here is in people who try to proselytize. Um, if you just opt out of a out of a belief and you don't really care what anyone else thinks that's fine that doesn't really demand that one justify one's position I don't believe in whatever and um, I'm not interested in discussing it which is anyone's right I'm not going to tell anyone that they have to justify their beliefs I refuse to justify my beliefs with other people I'll, ex I'll explain them and I'll discuss them but I won't justify them that's nobody else's business and uh, likewise other people's beliefs or lack of beliefs is their business and their business only. Um, but again, if you decide that you're going to criticize someone else's beliefs, you'd better come up with a good reason why. What is it that you criticize in their beliefs? Um, it's Again, it's vacuous and something of a straw man to say, I don't subscribe to this ideology or this belief which I refuse to define. Uh, it's also it's equally vacuous in a certain sense to say I do subscribe and uh, I do believe in an ideology or a belief I guess of something that I can't describe and refuse to define. <laughs> um, 
fundamentally the problem I have with atheism, theism, is the lack of, and one would even say deliberate lack of, a um, workable model of God. Uh, definition is not strong enough a word, uh, because that implies that words can actually define things accurately. I would like to just someone get across to me what on earth they mean when they say God. W what are you talking about? It is hopelessly ill-defined from both sides of the divide. And again, you think that that's splitting hairs? It's not splitting hairs. I can't think of any more fundamental question than that. Does the, does the universe have a first principle? Um, does reality mean anything? One could even say that you're asking, essentially, when you ask whether or not there's a god, you're asking, what is reality? Um, saying that you're just not interested in a question like that is one thing, and I accept that. What if you are intensely interested in that, but you're not satisfied by anyone's explanation. <laughs> Thank you.